Hi guys and welcome to this episode on simple linear regression with time series analysis. Before I delve into this episode, I just want to go over two concepts quickly. There are two features which we can engineer into our time series data, which we can then use to build our regression models on, or any other machine learning model. That is the time step feature and the lag feature. For the time step feature, we can replace each of our dates with a number, zero starting at the earliest date to a number n being the last date. This enables us to build a regression model where y is our target, in this case we're looking at sales, beta is our weight, t is our time step feature, and b is our bias. This enables us to model what is called time dependence. Does a sales observation depend on the time? So for example, do we get more sales in the middle of the month or later on in the month? Or is there no relationship between time and sales? Next is the lag feature. So for this, we simply shift our observations to a time in the future. So here we're shifting them all by one step. So on the 1st of January, 2024, the sales of 7,000 gets pushed to the 2nd of January, 2024. This enables us to build the model on this lag feature, similar to before, but in this case, using L as our lag feature. This enables us to model what is called serial dependence. Do observations in the past affect current observations? Let us now go through an example of how we can apply linear regression with time series data, engineering these two features. We start by importing some general libraries. We then read our data into Python using the pandas library. We can check the shape of our data. And in this case, we have 1,462 rows and five columns. We can check the first few rows of our data frame by using the head function. And here we have various dates, the mean temperature recorded at each of these dates, the humidity, wind speed, and mean pressure. And here we are looking at weather data in Delhi, India. Let's start off with implementing a time step feature and then building a regression model on the time step feature. For that, we can use the NumPy library. We can have a series of numbers from zero to the length of our index minus one. And we can display the first few rows again of our data frame. And here we have this new column feature added to our data frame. We can then go on and build our regression model using time as our input data and our mean temperature as our target value. In this case, we're just going to focus on mean temperature and time. We then build our model and lastly generate a set of predictions. So we can run this here. We can obtain the model intercept and coefficients. So to three decimal places, we have y equals 0.002t plus 23.837. We can plot our data points and our regression line. We can see here that our regression line doesn't really model the time dependence, and we might need a more complex time series model. Next, the lag feature. We can use the pandas shift function on our mean temperature to generate the lag feature. We then go through similar steps as before, but this time we remove this initial missing value. We can obtain the intercept and coefficient giving us the model to three decimal places, y equals 0.974 L plus 0.661. And lastly, we can plot our mean temperature against our, against our lag feature. And we can see here that there is a correlation between our lag feature and mean temperature, 
As the temperature the day before increases, so does the temperature the next day. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you learned something new.